Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, well, <laughs> we were sitting in the docking module after having gotten the robot for Chodo Habat and uh, interrogating the Zerka people. Uh, didn't get further than that, but... Uh, now we can move to the entertainment module to then show Lieutenant Gren that holdout blaster and then go into the cantina for other things. Because I'm pretty sure that other... The uh, Twi'lek who lost his girlfriend or wife in a card game, uh, the guy's in there. So, there we go. Lieutenant Gren. Something I can help you with? I have a blaster I'd like you to look at. A blaster? Hmm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? I was ambushed by thugs in a dock module. One of the attackers was carrying this. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. Mm -hmm. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks. That is disturbing news. Uh, why is that? When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. Oh. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. Oh. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. You found more evidence? We have found a number of blasters similar to this one, as well as a crate of contraband weapons upgrades. Hmm. Then perhaps I could help you. A relative stranger as yourself might be useful for the investigation. You'd be compensated, of course. Well, then I don't see why I wouldn't. Absolutely. I'll see what I can do. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blaster around, discreetly. See if anyone on the station knows something about it, or at least reacts suspiciously. There's more than a few people around here I'd suspect having a hand in this. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find the source of the blaster. Will do. But you're not going to give me a list? Something I can help you with? Uh, talk to you what about the bounties. I found some information about Batu Rem. The real Batu Rem? Or the assassin Batu Rem? Uh, the assassin. Oh, what is it? He arrived from Narshida aboard an unmarked transport in Docking Bay 3. Docking Bay 3. More suspicious activity from Zerka's private dock. Only we had something more concrete. I could launch a full-scale investigation. But Narshida? Sounds like you've made some powerful enemies. Here's the reward for the information. And if you find out anything else about Batu, real or fake, let me know. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, I'll be going now. Armor Ply Plating Mark II. Interesting. Interesting that I get components as the payment. What's the Armor Ply? I forget now. Um... Uh, it should be down here, I guess. Somewhere. Uh, wow, it's way down here. <laughs> way further down here than I thought it would be. Jesus. Uh, okay. It's Comlink. A lot of other stuff. Man, it's way down here. My good gods, I have so many things that aren't being used at all. There we go. Plus one to reflex and plus four to stealth. Okay, so it's basically a stealthy thing. Ooh, not really worth it. Could sell it, though. Or break it down for more stuff. Probably should do the latter, honestly. Uh, would that be repair or stealth? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who would give me the most components for breaking it down. I don't know. I'll find out when I get to a workbench. For now, though... I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon... Sold? ...and what it be to see them return. Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. 
Look, if it weren't for the Republic, wow. we'd be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's True. aid, we should be indebted to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take Wow. Us. This guy was a fan of the General. For sure. It probably will not be. Yeah, that's politics for you. Yeah, unfortunately, very common. Ah, uh, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. Oh, yeah? No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? Well, I wouldn't say, uh... I wouldn't say there isn't trouble, but not with the TSF. Uh, can I help you? Perhaps you don't know who I am? Uh, you seem to be of the opinion that I care. <laughs> wow. Uh, someone with an inflated view of himself? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Not really. Let me introduce myself. I I'm thought you already knew I was new here, though. Lopak Slusk's protection. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Lopak Slusk is, though? Technically, yes. with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Uh huh. Other than me, of course. Uh huh. I'll leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, look, sir, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest. Probably. Skin, Just warn you, Slusk could easily replace you. That seems very dark sidey, but I'm just gonna say I don't want any trouble. I doubt you could cause any. Oh, I could. Luxa is hardly the entertainment I was looking for. Let's go. I could, but why would I? Not getting anything out of it. Wow, the AI pathing is a little borked. <laughs> but it's fine. No worries. Mebla duel. Hey there. Care for a game of Pizak? Oh god, it's triple triad. <laughs> triple triad. Uh let's play. Sure thing. Just for fun or shall we lay some credit down? Let's play for fun. Let's have a seat and get to it then. Just to see if I remember how to play it. Let's add all the cards, because apparently I already have a deck. That's handy, actually. Having a Pazak deck already. Ooh, I'm not I'm not too unhappy with the hand I got. Oh, balls. Well, time to play that and stand. Oh, you just got lucky. Oh, come on. The luck. The absolute crazy luck. Oh, come on. Looks like luck was on my side this time. Duh. Not for another game. Yeah, sure. Let's play again just for fun. Alrighty. Let's do this again. Play. Yes, use the side deck. Oh, this, this hand isn't too bad either. Should have played more of it last time. Oh, well, I can't turn this down now, can I? Hey, there we go. Even start. Well, can't turn that down again now, can I? Oh, come on. That would have been perfect. Just a sheer dumb luck play. Okay. Another sheer dumb luck play there. Okay. Well, I was about to say I'm probably going to have to play one of these, and I guess it's that one. Oh, you little... Now you're just cheating. Oh, come on. There's no way. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way she could beat that. Uh, do you have any cards I could buy? Because having some of these... Wait. 
This card changes the sign, positive or negative, of all your twos and fours in play. So any twos that are already on the board would then become negative? Or negative ones would become positive? Interesting. That is a bit advanced. Uh, I don't know if I want to get more, though. <laughs> I honestly don't think I should. Nah, it's fine. And what do we got here? Race. Oh, we got swoop. Oh, we got swoop racing. <laughs> Let's try a practice run. Ah, how about you let me run the course for free? Well, I suppose so. You seem like a pretty good racer, and if you put up more some good times, it'll attract more interest in the races. I kind of skipped a lot of those, but it's fine. What the? Um... Uh... Uh... <laughs> floating above the track now? What? Uh, this is a bug. It's gotta be a bug. <laughs> this is a bug. This is absolutely a bug. Oh, if only there was a way to fix it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess I'll ride this out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that was a bug. I know it wasn't a spectacular time. I was stuck on the ceiling. Okay, let's try an actual race. You had a respectable race time of 52.94. However, you didn't beat any of the course records. I think you need a few more runs. What are the track records? The champion of the Citadel Station track is Av Darum with a record time of 41.27. Second best time on the track is 44.73, held by the great Requel Sorm. Nikilatus holds the third best of 50.03. In fourth place, we have young Apsareb with a great time of 58.01. I don't know if you'd call that great, because I beat that in the practice run, but okay. Uh, sure, let's do an actual race. A hundred credit entry fee. That makes sense. Um, I know what the buttons are for the jumping, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to be able to make money off of this. Eh, yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with the Persuade. There will be more than enough wagering to cover for that. You're probably right. Okay, I'll let you race for free, but you'd better come out through for me. Don't worry, I will. Everything's set to go. Good luck. If that bug happens again, I'm going to call shenanigans. Okay, good, it didn't happen. Okay. Okay, I could have done that a little better. Yeah, some of these I could have done a lot better, but it's fine. Oh, balls. Okay, yeah, no. I didn't get enough proper practice in. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, I at least beat the guy that was in uh, fourth. <laughs> at least I did that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I'll be going now. I'll come back when I have more credits. We talked to this lady who stepped in for me with that one dude. Hello there. Luxa. Hmm. Fresh blood at the canteen. Yeah. 
Your drinks are on me. Oh. We should talk. Later. Generous. Who are you? If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell really? You, you just enjoy yourself. And if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Okay. I mean, she is a redhead, so, I mean, points there. Can you tell me anything about this blaster? Hand it over and let me take a look at it. Mm -hmm. I can't say I recognize it. It's good work, though. Whoever fixed it up knew what they were doing. It's Interesting. It's not mine, I can tell you that. It's not yours, but you appreciate the craftsmanship. Okay, I'll be going now. So she's deep in the dirt, as it were. Uh, she apparently is on the dark side of the law. From... Oh, Romana was the uh, girl. So that must be... That's Doton Hat. Okay, that was the guy I was supposed to talk to. Okay. I feel like I want to save before I do this, though. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, here I am, back again. And yeah, let's go talk with him. Wonderful sight, isn't it? The best of my dancers, and the best I've seen in many years. Who are you? I am Doton Het, an entrepreneurial businessman here on Citadel Station. I deal in odds and ends, stuff that Zerka and the Dobo brothers have no interest in. Odds and ends? Indeed, I run a loose business and my stock changes from day to day. Okay, could I look at your inventory then? Nothing quite so plebeian as that. I believe Samhan and Ordendis Dobo would be more than willing to do business with you. Those are a mouthful of a name. I've come on behalf of on behalf of Hara. That one. Ah, it must be about Romana then. Fine, give me your proposal. Oh, uh, that's very dark sighty. Uh, is there something you want in exchange? I am a man of many possessions. Inanimate objects, they bring me little joy. But to see the beauty of dance is a rare treat. Credits, if it must be. The currency of the Republic is such a mundane way for businessmen to arrange their deals. But if that's the only way, I would accept no less than 2,000 credits for her. I could knock you down to 1,500. Or... Oh. How about you wager her on a game of Pazak? I don't know if I feel that lucky. <laughs> but it's worth a shot, I guess. Ah, now that is an interesting suggestion. The situation, ah, what a setup. Romana, lost by Hara in a Pazak game, to be wagered by Dotan in another. Alright, I do like the way you think. There is merit to your suggestion. Fine, I shall place Romana on a wager in a Pazak game, against a wager of a thousand credits of your own, I think. I mean, I can afford that. Sure. A thousand credits it is. Excellent. Let us play, then. All right. Playing with a basic deck. Oh, no. This might be bad. Yes, let's use this side deck. Not like I have a choice. Ooh. That ain't too bad. I'll stand with this. Ah, set is tied. Good thing I didn't waste any cards on it. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to spend any cards that one. There's that, at least. And... Play card, and we're good. Hey, hey! I won the set. Not bad. Eh? I mean, that puts me in the lead. There we go. Won the set. Oh, balls. Okay, well, I've lost that one for sure. Eh? Close not to try. Alright, let's play that and call that good. 
Oh, you're kidding. That is literally cheating. There is no way you had a plus five there. No, that was shenanigans. I was so far in the lead. I was so far in the lead. There is no way. That was the game cheating me. Alright, I'm safe scumming just for this. Just for this, because this is stupid. There is no way. There is no way. It's bull. At least I saved prior. <laughs> There's at least that. Okay, let's go through all of this again. Come on behalf of Hara. Uh, something you want in exchange. Okay. Wager. And a hundred, a thousand credits, rather. Let's play. Well, my hand isn't bad this round. Isn't terrible, anyway. I am not giving up this hand. There's no way. Nah. I will, I will go down with a tie instead of giving up this hand. Okay. Play card, and there we go. Okay, he's losing cards just as quickly as I am. If I'm lucky. Ow. Oh, I can do this and win. There we go. All right. At a certain point, it's just going to be roll of the dice. You're kidding. I win the set. Good. That was sheer dumb luck. And he's out of cards. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. Well played, Stray Cat. It was a good set of games, though perhaps not enough to make up for losing Romana. But I will keep my word. Very well, I am sad to see her go, but it is true that it is always best to avoid becoming attached to anything in my line of work. Our business is completed, and I would ask you to depart from here now. But do not hesitate to call upon me if you should have a further exchange. Romana, your period of servitude to me is finished. Your ownership is transferred to this human. I see. In that case, I humbly submit to your wishes. Wow. I could just make her dance and give me money. <laughs> oh my god, that's messed up. After all of this, I'm taking you back to Hara. Hara? Even after what horror he has submitted me to? But it is not my choice, it is yours. Let's go. Oh, we just teleport back. Interesting. Romana, this can't be true. I thought I had lost you for sure. Don't sound so pleased, Hara. It's not as though you had anything to do with getting me free. Aren't you at least a little happy to see me? I couldn't care less. If he hadn't asked me to come, I would have been on the first shuttle out of here. You're free now, Romana. You can go with Hara. I have no desire to go with him. He means nothing to me. Whoa. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Pretty much every choice I can make. I don't know if that's as dark sidey. Technically, I didn't lose money, so I don't necessarily have to make her pay me. Then you can do whatever you wish. Thank you. You have given me a new life, and that I am grateful for. 
No, Romana, don't leave, please. I don't know whether to thank you or to strike you. I guess we'll just leave it at that. Well, I got light side points at least. I don't know why the camera zoomed in on her face for a little bit, but... Ah, oh, well. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get, douchebag. Huh. I could have sworn there was someone who sells stuff over here, though. Is it here? Locked. No, I guess it wasn't here. This is my apartment. Huh. Or was it this one? I'm not sure. It's one of them. I think it was this one, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it doesn't matter. Wait. Yes, it did have a bed. Would you like to rest? Oh, so that's a way for me to heal up should I need it. I see. Okay. Alrighty. Fair enough. Oh, that's to the entertainment module again. Well, sure. I need to go back there to do more stuff at the cantina. At least I think there's more stuff I can do there. But then again, I still need to find out who did that thing. Dendis Dobo. Oh, this is the Dobo Brothers. Greetings, my name is Dendis, and if you wish to purchase or sell goods, you have come to the right place. Could you tell me anything about this blaster? I do not specialize in the sale of such things. It appears to be in good condition, though I wouldn't know the going price. I suspect it has been modified, but illegal weapons are not my area of expertise. My brother deals with unsavory sorts. If anyone knows about it, it'd be him. Just don't let him sell you anything. It's just a few shelves, Dendis. I can hear you quite clearly. Okay. Just let me shop. Oh, you have Pazak cards too. And also med packs. An infinite stock of med packs. And an infinite stock of parts. Although, these cost a lot more than med packs. Still. Well, let me look at my cell. My cell stuff. Um, hmm. I guess I don't need to sell all that much. Especially when I could possibly just get really, really, really rich in components. <laughs> Which would be nice. I would like having a lot of components. Oh, that sells. That sells pretty good. If I can't break it down for a lot of components, then I'll go for credits. Okay. So... Samhan is apparently the one who might sell it. Welcome! You've made the right decision coming to me instead of my brother, Dendis. He has not quite grasped the ebb and flow. Nonsense! I simply have principles. This is what I was referring to. Right. Uh, what can you tell me about this blaster? Give it here and let me take a look at it. Yes, that's very interesting. Very good craftsmanship. But no, I can't tell you anything about it other than that it is a holdout blaster. Upgraded. I think there's something you're not telling me. And why would this be of interest to you? Uh, I want to know who sold the weapon I was attacked with. I will admit that I sold it, but I sell a great many things. You cannot hold it against me for doing business, can you? Ah. Perhaps you should be more careful about who your weapons are purchased by. Oh, believe me, if I could, I would. But you must understand the reality. As careful as I could try to be, they could still fall into the wrong hands. Like most weapons, merchants and see washes his hands of it. As though you cared, Sam Han. Those thugs and scoundrels pay very well for you to look the other way. Ignore my brother. He is merely jealous that his current financial situation is less than successful. At least I can sleep at night. Now, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, do you know anything about the smuggling operation? 
I know that it is an extremely lucrative arrangement. You might say my knowledge is first-hand. I expect the pay is good. I pay extremely well, given the dangerous nature of the work. That is, as long as you do remember to carry out your tasks discreetly and effectively. I'm not going to get involved in that. Think about it. The offer will still be on the table. That is, unless someone fills my need first. Well, let me look at your inventory before you eventually <laughs> get arrested because I'm going to fucking incriminate you so hard. You're just going straight to jail, bud. Wow. Area do strength amplifier already. Damn. Oh. Zerka utility belt. Wow originally developed by Zerka Corporation for their own maintenance staff and quickly found use throughout the Republic. The user must have paid points into the demolitions and security skills to gain the respective benefits from the belt. Okay, fair enough. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Almost worth it. Almost. Hmm. Sith War Sorna. Exchange Negotiator. A useful tool for espionage. This weapon is more effective than the standard stun baton, but is still available on most worlds. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, no. Nah. I think I'm going to go straight to the authorities after I do a little... <laughs> after I do a little bit of this. Uh, break down... Let me look at the armor ply thing. What would it be for that? Uh, component value is one when it's me. Just say the word. Well, I'm working on it. Um, break down. It's one when it's Atten. Yes. But I think Kraya does have stealth skill. If I recall correctly. So let's see. It's still only one. You're kidding. You're kidding. But can't I... Oh, it costs... It's repair. It's repair that goes into it. But that also... That would also be Kreia. Kreia's like the highest repair person I have, isn't she? Yeah, it was like 10. I have one. And he has zero. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll sell it to Dennis. Okay. Well, it was worth it, I guess, to look into it. Don't know why it moved up, but there we go. Sell it, and we're good, I guess. Uh, Actually, let me look at what I can give you. Huh. I could give you that, but it's not even as good as the mining lasers that you're currently equipped with. Ah, oh, man. Okay, yeah, it's not even worth it. Well, I would hope so. Okay, well, time to go report the other brother. Ooh, that was a lot of money. I don't know why that wasn't available the first time. But hey, I'll take it now. Time to report Samhan. Because he is a douchebag. Alrighty. And straight to Gren. Something I can help you with? Yeah. Samhan Dobo is a source of the black market goods on Citadel Station. Technically, no, he isn't. Oh, wait. No, he did. He sold that one. Okay, it is Samhan Dobo. I'm not surprised to hear that. We've been very curious about his business arrangements. But have had trouble getting any real evidence. Samhan's no fool. 
He knows just how far he can go, and he stays a hair's breadth within those lines. But he seems to trust you. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, what did you have in mind? If we could catch Sam Han in the act, we could arrest him, and have more than enough evidence to have him put on trial. But it's catching him in the act that's the problem. Mm -hmm. If you could convince him to trust you, we could hit him right in the middle of a transaction. Is there anything else I should know? Just see what he wants you to do. We'll have to play it by ear from there. Good luck. Okay. So I guess I do have to work for him. But it at least allows me to uh, earn his trust. And then they get him. Okay. Alright, that ain't too bad. Running back and forth is going to be a little annoying. Alrighty. Back to Sam Han we go. Welcome back. How may Sam Han Dobo assist you? I've decided I want to work for you. I see. It's gotten more difficult to operate of late, and I could always use the help. What can I do for you? Basically, there are three items I need to fill out my next shipment. Leaves for the B Bakani plant from the Ithorian's Vivarium, a personal shield unit being kept in the docking bay, and medical supplies. But for starters, I need the Bakani plant sample. I'll try to find more about where the other two are being held while you get the leaves. Have you been to the Ithorian compound in the residential module? Yes, I've been there. Then you must already know about their vivarium, where they cultivate the flora they import from other systems to be transplanted on the surface. The Athorians are mostly concerned with the various plant species in relation to cultivating the surface of Telos. What they don't know is that a few of their plant specimens have other uses. Oh, you mean like space weed? Okay, other uses? Indeed, there are buyers that would be willing to pay large sums of credits for extracts from them, restricted imports. Because of their status with the Republic, the Athorians are able to bypass these regulations, which presents me, us, with a unique opportunity. I don't know what the other thing said. I missed it because I was halfway through the sentence. So, all of this trouble just for a few potted plants. Not even a whole one, just a few leaves of a particular specimen. The Athorians are extremely protective of their plants, though, so don't expect they'll just let you take it. After all, if it were that easy, I wouldn't need you to do it for me, would I? True. Do you have any suggestions? You should be careful. I'll leave it to you to figure out the best way to get the leaves. Okay, I'll be back when I have them. Excellent. Okay. Well, getting it would probably incur the anger of the Athorians, so maybe I can talk to Gren about it. Maybe he'll help me? The information terminal is there, at least, so if I do have to go back, it's a quick teleport. Alright. Something I can help you with? Sam Han wants me to get three things for him, then he'll make a shipment. If we knew when he was going to make a shipment, then we could catch him. What are the three things he needs? Leaves from the Athorian's Bakani plant, their prototype shield unit, and medical supplies. All that? If that's the size and substance of his usual shipments, it helps explain quite a bit. It will take some time for me to assemble those. All right, everything's here. Take these to Sam Han. After that, come back to me. And tell me the exchange has been made, and I'll go to the dock module to wait for him. If he won't let hmm. you leave until the transaction's completed, go with him. I'll post one of my men near the docking bay, and if he spots you, he'll summon me. Understood? Alrighty. I understand. Just make sure you're there. I'll be there, don't worry. You just make sure you get him to the docking bay. We have to catch him in the act. Fair enough. Secured goods case. And I can just tell him, hey, well, I've managed to do the other things for you. He might be suspicious as to how I managed to get everything else done. But hey. Maybe he'll give me a bonus. I can just pocket that. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right. Hey, Sam Han. Welcome back. How may Sam Handobo assist you? 
I got the items you were looking for. Incredible! This is quite a windfall. I wish I had employed your services earlier. With all this, I'll be able to have the shipment ready to go. Well, okay, if you could, would you escort me? I don't wish to take any chances. Okay. All right, I got all the stuff, and he's very happy I helped. When do we leave? No point in wasting time. Let's go. About time you showed up, Saman. Get your things loaded. I'm already behind schedule. All right, it'll only take a moment. No need to get so worked up over it. You don't understand how it is with Zerka. When the process stops working like clockwork, questions get asked. And we don't want questions asked, do we? Yes, yes, I get the point. I could do this faster if you helped instead of standing there complaining. The faster we get this loaded, the faster we can get it out of here. Stop right there. You're all under arrest and your possessions will be seized as evidence. Yeah. This is ridiculous. The TSF cannot just barge in here as they please. That's enough, Samhan. Don't bother protesting your innocence. We know all about your business thanks to our friend here. <laughs> I'm just glad to be rid of this scum. What? You set me up! I will see you burn for this. Whoa. Oh, I didn't expect that. Well, I guess he dies now. And the Zerka guy just stands there. Alright, I surrender! I surrender! Arrest me and put me in your force cage. I have no desire to continue this fight. thought you might see it my way. All of you, come with me. Well, I guess he didn't die this time. Lucky him. This is a foolish error you have made, Lieutenant Gren. You cannot hope to keep me here. I think you may be overconfident your chances, Samhan. We now have evidence of your smuggling operation, and even the Council cannot ignore that. Again, I have you to thank. Without your assistance, it would have been impossible for us to place Samhan under arrest. You're welcome. It was necessary to remove this criminal. Now we can be certain he will be removed. I believe a long sentence awaits him, and the Citadel will be rid of his influence for good. Good. Though there is always the possibility another will take his place. Of course. I promise to pay you handsomely for your assistance, and I'll keep my word. Now I must good. attend to my other duties. Again, thank you for your help. Woo! Level up for the other two, and light side points. Can't complain about that. Hey, how you doing, Samhan? You look smug now with me in this cage, but I assure you, making me your enemy will be your last mistake. Right. We'll see how your brother feels about that, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, time to level up my other buddies. Ooh, I can adjust attributes now. Ooh. I can't resist that. I can't resist that. More skill points for leveling up. How could I resist? How could I resist? There is no resisting that. It's too good. It's just too good. All right. And then powers. What should I do for powers? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, hmm. I guess I guess I could have her do battle meditation, but Yeah, I just have her learn disable droid. It's a lot easier and a lot more useful. Popping him up to 12 points of intelligence, making him just a little smarter. A little bit more of a smirk cookie. Uh, more skill points is always good as well. Can't complain about that. Um, remaining points. Well, if that's the case, might as well start upping his treat injury. And then feats. Fighting Spirit. Fighting Spirit. What the hell is that? It's... We got Scoundrel's Luck there. But uh, I don't know where Fighting Spirit is on here. It probably isn't something I can look at even. Alright. Let's go with the improved two-weapon fighting for him since he doing two blasters anyway 
All right. Good. And fantastic. He is definitely more on the light side than Kreia is. It's probably due to my influence, because I'm so righteous. Okay, anyway. Alrighty, well, criminal dealt with, and let's go talk to the other Dobo brother. Dendis. That's his name, right? Yeah, I think it is. Let's go talk to him real quick. And then we'll go into the cantina, because I think there was one person I still hadn't talked to. Plus, I want to see if I can still do that swoop race thing. And make some money off of that. Which, you know, it's always nice. How much money did I make off of that whole thing anyway? I'm now at 3,000. That ain't too bad. Sam Han is my brother, but I am happy to see that he has gotten what he deserved. In appreciation, allow me to give you a discount on anything in my inventory. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that ain't too bad. Eh, it's still pretty high for the parts, but eh, ain't terrible. Oh, I could get new cards for almost nothing. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good, actually. I am tempted. I am tempted. But, nah, don't need it. I don't need it that badly. I very rarely pay, play Pazak anyway. Unless it's an option. Okay. I wanted to double check what I have equipped for my stuff. And I have a Vibro Sword I haven't equipped anything on. Because I'm a doofus. Oh, I don't have anything good on the edges. Well... I'll look into seeing if I do... Well, might as well give her one. Uh, whoops. There we go. That's what I wanted. Take that edge off and put it here. Perfect. And a little extra ion damage just for fun wouldn't hurt. Okay. That ain't too bad either. Just take those off. And actually, I'll swap this out for the energy. And... Put the... This here. Okay. That ain't too bad. It's funny that the Vibro Blade has more damage in the critical... Than the Vibro Sword. It's a little weird. But hey, I'll take it. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, though. Okay, anyway. Uh, give her the Ion Cell. There we go. Since she already has the Ion Edge. Cool. Alright, so now it's time to end the episode. Because we have gone a little too long in this episode. And everything's all upgraded. Cool. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying my darndest, damnedest, <laughs> darndest, really? Um, <laughs> forgot it was the end of the episode, I guess. Uh, trying my damnedest to help the people of the Citadel Station. And, uh, well, get rid of the worst elements of Citadel Station. And so far, I've dealt with one little aspect of it. Now it's time to deal with the rest of the exchange and Zerko while I'm at it. And here's hoping I get a little more info on that in the cantina, which I will be doing next episode for you.